Logan Kane here, and welcome to episode 24 of Paper Sorcerer. Let's try and take out this binding. Wounded and everything. Probably gonna get my ass kicked. Hold, sorcerer. Come no further. A wiry man stands with his bow at the ready in front of you. He speaks with a thick, unfamiliar accent. Oh yeah, I guess this is one of those, the four heroes. At first, I was not sure sealing you in here was the right thing to do. Now I see you've killed many good men, and are trying to undo the book itself. This I cannot allow. No? Well, you're gonna allow it. By dying, ha ha ha. Anyway, let's just get straight in here with a bloodbath. Maybe we can get him to bleed. And skeleton, go ahead and do a challenge. Hopefully it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, it seems. And then, drop a poison. An Risho Ray dude here. And that's probably not good. Let's just do an attack. See what happens. See? Oh, I thought he was flipping me off for a second. This <laughs> is pointer finger. Whatever. That's a lot of damage to do to my skeleton straight through his defense. That's terrifying. On the other hand, he is bleeding now, so that's good. Had a little bit of lag there. That's. More lag, what is going on? If that happens again? I don't know. It's weird. Alright, well we got that on there, we got the poison. Well, what, about, what else do we do? Let's do an adrenaline rush. And skeleton, raise the defense. Everybody. Minatua. Eh, still nothing. Well, he is, he'll be able to power strike next turn. And then the sorcerer, Sorcerer's gonna do is oh oh yeah I was gonna scorch him I was thinking I'm gonna try and poison him but he's already poisoned oh what does hail of arrows do holy shit hail of arrows hurts that's what hail of arrows does guess I'll have the skeleton try and bring back some of our defense I'm not liking how this fight is going so far is he on fire too? I can't tell. I don't think so. Alright, troll. How about... Yeah, do some stealth maneuvers. It's gonna be a rather... Rather defensive round. Where's that... Where's what I want? Where's what I want? Restore. There we go. It's exceptionally important for the moment. And now... You know what? No. Brutal strike. Let's go. Brutal strike. And sorcerer? Can you do your mind thing? Go all the way over here. No. No, you can't. You should probably focus. Very defensive. Camouflage? I don't like that at all. Block up? Camouflage increases your ability to block. Uh, sure. Why not? Alright. Well, he's still bleeding and poison, so that's good. I wish he was on fire, too, but that didn't turn out so well. I don't think... Oh yeah, I have the large damage to defense. Let's try that. Maybe it'll actually do something. And drop a power strike. Not much else we can do. Other than try to out DPS him. That's right, I already did my attack. And what do we got here? Seems prudent to drop the soul shield on, but I'm gonna do a psychic assault. Let's see what happens. See how well that rend works. Nothing. Piercing shot. Man, that hurts. I don't have any... Well, I guess I have healing potions. If the skeleton takes much more damage, I guess I could... Whoa, that did a lot of damage. And Psychic Assault did not. Is he already almost dead? Oh, right, I have Charging Fist. I forgot about that. The new attack. It lets me do more stuff. I always go into the Minotaur's one. I can't do anything for this turn, can't do anything next turn. But I'll probably go into it again next turn. And... Yeah, let's do a refresh rune. Everybody can use defense, right? And you just... just black bolt them. See how this works. Not bad. Oh, Hail of Arrows again. I'm gonna have to heal people. But my troll... Ooh, wow, Minotaur took more damage than I thought he would. 
244 damage. Okay, that was too easy. I don't... I don't think I trust this. Alright, better inner fire, better power strike, nothing new. I don't trust this at all. But am I gonna go on? Foolishly? Yes. Yes, I am. Ah, uh, you fight with such power. Go ahead. Break the binding. You'll never be able to get them all. And the Archon can fix those. Ye do. With that, he collapses. Well, I guess there's some jackass. Ooh, hello. I guess there's some jackass that can uh, fix the bindings. That's not cool. Alright, sorcerer. Sounds like you have something new to wear. No? What the hell's the point of the magic? Is there a chainmail wearing magic dude in this? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And he is called the cultist, isn't he? Uh, da da da. No? Who wears that armor? It's just easier to hit escape and just close the damn thing sometimes. Seriously, who wears that armor? He's got the Dark Forge. He is definitely... Elven Plate. I guess it would have to be him. But why the magic? Maybe vampires can wear plate or something. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I think I'm going to bravely run over here and get attacked. That's what I think. Because he was way too easy. Alright, Chant of Unmaking. Blah. 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 Okay, I guess that's it. The fourth binding has been broken. You're better than I thought. And one of the legendary heroes down is a bonus. Only 20 have made it that far without dying. What? How did the, how did 20 make it that far? And people still... Whatever. <clears throat> of course, all of them died horribly soon after. Before he died, he mentioned the Archaeon. What did he mean? She looks slightly upset. The Archaeon is what keeps Librum functioning. If the bindings are the book's spine, then the Archon is its brain. If it's given enough time, the Archon can repair the broken bindings. It usually takes several years, but it has happened before. Which is why it's incredibly important we keep our momentum and continue breaking the bindings. But she's probably like the bad, bad girl or something. You see the zombie? The zombie? The zombie ambling around the town square, surrounded by marauding pigs. Oddly, they each have a word's, a word's worth of dripping paint on their sides. You read, wallet, items, buy, shop, new. Alright, well let's do our talks before we get out of here today. Oddly relaxed guy. These rumors are powerful spirit of Block 6. I hear it has affinity for things of beauty. <laughs> Above average goblin. The overseer of Block 6 is a powerful necromancer. His minions will relentlessly attack you. No matter how many you kill, they'll just keep on coming. How a guy like that become an overseer? Well, that wasn't very exciting. Anyway, that's it for episode... Where are we at? 23? Jeez. Paper Sorcerer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy!